Hello, and welcome to InAware's Process Runner DB Help Series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a basic Process Runner DB data extractor automation script, which allows us to download data from SAP to a database. This video will be divided into two parts. In part one, we will use the BSEG, Accounting Document Segment Table, in SAP, as part of our first example showing how Process Runner DB can be utilized to create a new table in our database automatically when executing a data extractor automation script. In part two of the video, we will use the MARA General Material Data Table in SAP as part of our second example, showing how Process Runner DB can be utilized to download data to an existing table in our database. The process used to create these automation scripts are applicable to other tables within an SAP system. For this video, we will download data to an MS SQL Server database but the same script could be utilized to download data to MS Access, Oracle, MySQL, Sybase, DB2, and SAP HANA. Let's get started with our first example. In this SQL Server database, we currently have no tables containing BSEG data. Let's begin by launching Process Runner DB and selecting the New Process button. Let's select the Data Extraction Technology and type in the table name BSEG. Before we click OK, let's click the More button and select Advanced Record Options. Here, we have the option to auto map all fields and get field descriptions. Let's auto map all fields so we don't have to map them manually, get the field descriptions as well, and click OK. We will be asked to log on to an SAP system from our SAP landscape with a username and password. After clicking OK, we will be taken into the mapper ribbon of Process Runner DB. Currently, we are utilizing an internal XML table called an iTable, which was automatically created as seen below. Let's navigate to the Home ribbon, where we can utilize our SQL Server database by clicking the Use External Data Source button. Let's select the data source drop down below and select the appropriate data source, which is SQL underscore PRDB underscore example. Next, let's select Create New Table. This will cause Process Runner DB to generate a new table in our current database. In the Create Table pop up, let's enter our desired table name. We will use BSEG to keep things simple. If we select Create Active Fields Only, only the fields which are actively mapped in the mapper ribbon of Process Runner DB will be generated in our table. If we have inactive fields in the mapper ribbon of Process Runner DB, which we also want to be generated in our SQL table, then we should leave this box unchecked. We will keep the default settings for the status field name and log field name, as Process Runner DB will automatically be generating these columns for us in our SQL table. We will also use the default setting for use SQL collation. Now let's click OK. Notice the block ID column and timestamp column have automatically been selected for us. Here in the Max Records box, we can select how many records we would like to download. The default setting is 1000 and we can raise or lower this as needed. If we set this to zero, there will be no limit to the number of records downloaded. Let's push the Run button. Now we are prompted to save our automation script before it can run. Let's press Yes. Save our automation script to a location on our hard drive or network. And after logging into SAP, our data extraction script executes. Let's return to our SQL database and refresh our table list. And here we can see our newly created BSEG table containing our downloaded data. For our second example, we will use Process Runner DB to download data to an existing table in our database. In this SQL Server table, we have columns for each field contained within the MARA table, as well as columns for the block ID, timestamp, stat, and log information, which we will need to map in this script. From Process Runner DB, let's select the File tab, 
and then push the new process button. The data extraction technology should be selected, and we will type in the table name Mara. Before we click OK, let's click the More button and select Advanced Record Options. We will also select Auto Map All Fields and Get Field Descriptions. After clicking OK and logging into an SAP system from our SAP landscape, we are taken into the Mapper Ribbon of Process Runner. Down below, we have our I table, which has automatically been created for us. Let's navigate to the Home Ribbon to utilize our SQL Server database and click on the Use External Data Source button. Let's select the data source dropdown and select the appropriate data source, which is SQL underscore PRDB underscore example. Next, let's select the Mara table, which will store the material data. This time, we will need to allocate where the status and log columns will be written to by selecting the appropriate columns from the table. Lastly, we need to allocate where the block ID and timestamp columns will be written to. The block ID returns which block the extractions fall under. The default block size in Process Runner DB is 25,000 records, which we have found to be the most optimal. The timestamp will return the date and time of the extraction. Furthermore, we can set the maximum number of records we want to extract in the Logon and Control Parameters section. Let's leave it set to the default of 1,000. Now let's go to the Mapper ribbon to ensure our fields have mapped properly. On the left, fields which are active are indicated by a checked box next to them. In the center, we can see that all of the fields are mapped from SAP to DS, which stands for data source. The map values are correct as well, as the SQL table used the technical field names as the column names. We can also add a filter to the extraction by utilizing the data filter feature at the top. This feature will be covered in a separate video. Finally, let's navigate to the Table Data tab where we will run the script so we can easily see the data being extracted. Let's click the Run button and we will be asked to save the Process Runner DB script. Let's save it to our desktop and log on to SAP to run the file. We can see that our data has successfully been extracted. Let's go back to the table in our SQL Server, refresh it, and confirm the extraction. This concludes our walkthrough of how to create a basic data extraction automation script with Process Runner DB in instances where we want Process Runner DB to generate a table for us and when we want to download data to an existing table in our database. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at Inaware.com. Thank you for watching.